For the first time in British history, Reform UK has pulled off the unthinkable, beating Labour in a national poll. Yep, you heard that right. Reform UK, once just a footnote in the political landscape, 24% of public support, according to Find Out Now, up by two points on last week. The poll of 2,607 adults, conducted on Wednesday, shows Labour on 23%, down two points on last week, while the Tories lead with 26%. This isn't just a poll result, it's a full-on political shockwave, and if you've been paying attention, it feels like it's been brewing for a while now. Think about it. How did we even get here? Just a decade ago, if someone told you Reform UK would be out polling Labour, you'd laugh them out of the room. But here we are. What's changed? For starters, people are fed up. Immigration, the economy, a sense of losing what it means to be British. These are the issues that have been bubbling under the surface. Reform UK didn't invent these frustrations, they just capitalized on them. They came in with clear, bold messaging, while Labour and the Tories were busy tripping over themselves. But here's the thing, this isn't just about policy, it's about trust. People are tired of feeling like they're being talked down to by politicians who don't seem to live in the real world. Reform UK's rise is as much about rejecting Labour and the Tories as it is about embracing a new alternative. It's a political middle finger to the establishment. Of course, critics are quick to dismiss Reform UK as a single-issue party riding a wave of populism. But if that's the case, why are their numbers climbing? This isn't just a protest vote. There's real momentum here. They've tapped into something deeper. A desire for change, for authenticity, for leaders who actually get it. Labour's problems right now? Honestly, they've done this to themselves. Keir Starmer came in with this whole sensible, no-nonsense vibe, trying to be the grown-up in the room. Fair enough. But where's the fire? Where's the vision? He talks a good game about being moderate and pragmatic. But when it comes to giving people something to believe in, it's like he's reading from a blank script. Policies on big stuff like the economy, housing and public services just don't hit home. They're either too vague or just plain boring. And let's be real, Labour still hasn't shaken off the Brexit baggage. A lot of their old school voters, especially up north, still feel like the party sold them out back then. Starmer might think he's moved past it, but for many working class folks, that wound is still fresh. Labour's trying to pitch itself as the party for everyone, but in doing so, they've ended up feeling like they're for no one in particular. It's like they're so scared of upsetting anyone that they've forgotten who they're actually meant to stand up for. The Tories? They're a mess right now. Let's be honest. Scandals, screw-ups, and this general vibe of we don't know what we're doing have left them in a really bad spot. Rishi Sunak tries to steer the ship, but it's like he's navigating through a storm with a broken compass. The economy's flatlining, inflation's out of control, and the NHS is hanging on by a thread. People are fed up, and who can blame them? Even hardcore Tory supporters are losing patience. High taxes and no real progress on stuff like immigration, a key promise, by the way, have left them wondering why they're still sticking around. And here's the thing, instead of staying loyal or flipping back to labor, a lot of them are giving Reform UK a shot. That's a big deal, because it shows how deep the frustration goes. What's wild, is how Reform UK is pulling in voters from all sides. Labour's losing people, the Tories are bleeding support, it's like no one feels at home in the old political camps anymore. Reform UK's managed to tap into this mood, not just as an anti-establishment party, but as one that's offering bold, straightforward answers to the issues people care about most. It's less about them being perfect, and more about them being clear and decisive, which is something both Labour and the Conservatives seem incapable of right now. For a lot of Brits, it's like, finally someone speaking my language. Whether they can keep the momentum going is another question. But for now, they're shaking things up big time. Reform UK's rise, a lot of it comes down to Richard Tice. The guy's got this way of cutting through the usual political waffle that people are so done with. He talks like a normal person, no overcomplicated jargon, or dodging questions, which feels pretty refreshing in a world full of scripted soundbites. What really clicks with voters is how direct he is about what needs fixing. Cutting taxes, ditching pointless bureaucracy, and making sure British jobs actually go to British workers. It's not rocket science, but it's the kind of stuff people have been waiting to hear for ages. And it's not just what he says, it's how he says it. There's no sugarcoating or trying to please everyone. He lays it out like it is, and people respect that. Tice also knows exactly which buttons to push. 
Immigration sovereignty, making sure Britain is in charge of its own destiny. These aren't just political buzzwords. For a lot of people, these are the big real-life issues that Labour and the Tories have been fumbling for years. Tice has tapped into that frustration and turned it into momentum. It's not just policy, though. He's got this ability to connect with regular people, which makes him stand out in a crowd of leaders who often come across as out of touch. Whether you agree with him or not, you can't deny that his straight-talking style and focus on core issues have made him and his party impossible to ignore right now. Immigration is a hot topic, and Reform UK has made it one of their main talking points. They've really tapped into the frustration people feel about record migration numbers and how the government seems completely out of its depth when it comes to controlling the borders. Their plan? Overhaul the asylum system, get tough on illegal immigration, and bring overall numbers down. It's a clear no-nonsense approach, and it's hitting home, especially in areas where stretched public services are feeling the strain. Sure, their stance has ruffled feathers. Immigration always does. But for voters who feel like Labour and the Tories have been all talk and no action, Reform UK's message is a breath of fresh air. And then there's the economy, which, let's face it, has been a mess. Inflation is eating away at people's paychecks, businesses are drowning in taxes and red tape, and the government just doesn't seem to have a handle on it. Reform UK's pitch for a low-tax, pro-growth plan, it's music to the ears of people who are desperate for a change. They're not just pointing fingers at the Tories for overspending and piling on regulations, they're offering an alternative that feels practical and focused on getting things moving again. Meanwhile, Labour hasn't done itself any favors, they're struggling to sell their economic vision, and voters aren't buying what they're offering. That's left the door wide open for Reform UK to swoop in and make their case. Reform UK's rise is about more than just politics, it's tapping into a deeper cultural shift. A lot of people feel like the old school parties have completely lost the plot when it comes to British values. They see Labour and the Tories pushing progressive agendas that just don't connect with what everyday people care about. Reform UK is flipping that script, putting national pride, family and strong communities front and centre. For voters who feel like they've been left in the dust by a world that's changing too fast, this message isn't just relatable, it's exactly what they've been waiting for. But let's be real, this kind of political shakeup doesn't come without its critics. Some say Reform UK's policies are all flash and no substance, claiming the party is great at pointing out problems but not so great at solving them. Others worry this could just make politics even messier splitting votes and making it even harder to get a government that can actually get stuff done. That said, supporters of Reform UK aren't phased by the naysayers. To them, the system is broken, and it's about time someone came in to disrupt the status quo. They're not looking for business as usual, they want a party that's bold enough to tackle the country's big problems head-on. Whether Reform UK can live up to the hype is anyone's guess, but for now, they're giving a voice to people who feel like they've been ignored for way too long. This poll could really shake things up in a big way. If Reform UK keeps building momentum, we're looking at a potential overhaul of British politics as we know it. For decades, the two-party system Labour versus the Conservatives has been the default setting. But now, that whole setup feels like it's hanging by a thread. Whether this translates into real wins at the ballot box, that's the big question. But one thing's for sure British politics is in for a shakeup, and the old safe bets are quickly becoming a thing of the past. If you found this video interesting, please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.